Hey, Plumber Tom here. If you're preparing for a plumbing state test or trying to improve your knowledge of code and understanding of plumbing, don't forget to check in the description below for links to study guides, online courses, and other resources that will help you to learn the code and pass your test. When you click on those links and purchase resources, you're helping me to be able to create more great content. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to this course all about venting of drainage pipes. I am Plumber Tom and I will be your guide in this course where we are going to learn some exciting things, some important things, if you're going to be installing drainage waste and vents. We'll look at some of the basic fundamental principles for venting as well as the code requirements that apply and that you would need to know if you're going to install pipes. Now, let me give this to you as my opinion, that the difference between plumbers who know what they are doing and those who do not has very much to do with whether they understand how to vent properly and whether they don't. And there's a lot to that. Now, if you're involved in commercial plumbing work, then you're going to get a plan that spells everything out. It's going to show you where the pipes go, the pipe sizes, and the best thing that you can do in those situations is install it according to the plan. Now, you may look at that sometimes, though, and find that there are situations where there are obstacles and you can't install it exactly according to plan, uh, structure that may be in the way or other situations, and this is where venting becomes important to you. If you're a residential plumber, then you know that all you generally get is just a floor plan. Occasionally they'll draw out some plumbing for us, but most of the time we have to figure these things out for ourselves. Even if something's drawn on paper for us as plumbers, when we get out there and we see what's been framed and how all the structure comes together, there are many times when we have to be able to make adjustments and change where we put those pipes. And for that reason, it is essential that plumbers know the different options for venting, the ways that you can provide enough airflow for the drains to work properly, but also meet code requirements as far as how that is piped. Now let's consider why do we even have to provide vents for drains? Well, it's a simple matter of airflow, and we will talk a lot about airflow in this course. There are a variety of ways we can install pipes to provide airflow, and those methods can be looked at as tools in your venting tool bag. And the more you know about the different tools that you have and the ways that you use those tools, the more useful and productive you can be when it comes to running drains and vents. Knowing these tools provides the versatility and the flexibility to get the job done no matter what situation you're in. So we will be looking at a variety of venting methods, including the most basic individual vent. We'll look at the common vent. We'll spend a significant amount of time on wet venting, including vertical wet venting and horizontal wet venting. I look forward to studying and learning together with you. I can assure you that as you complete this course, you will be a much more knowledgeable and effective plumber.